Yo, what is up guys? So quickly before we start the video, I got one massive giveaway for you all. As you can see in my inventory, we've got 35 quadrillion cash. Now the first person that did comment on the video, you've won yourself 5 quadrillion. So congratulations to you. And for the rest of it, it's going to go to one lucky winner. So for a chance to win this, boys, all you have to do is just like the video, comment your in-game name, be subscribed to my channel, turn on that personal notification button, guys, and also join Dreamscape with the link down below. There are currently 234 people online right now. It is by far the biggest and best custom server of 2019. So make sure you do join also if you are joining from this video you want to go for the tutorial and once you do that it should come over like a refill system you want to click youtuber and then type in diddyscape and by doing that you get yourself a free super m box so yeah guys make sure you do that good luck on the giveaway and i hope you enjoy the video all right let's get into it the first update it looks like we have some donator benefits we have added a new private area for donators to kill penguins now i am a massive massive fan of this if we go to colon colon m box usually there's quite a few people here and it kind of gets crowded sometimes as you can see it's not really as crowded anymore but if we go to Colin Colin DZ and then speak to the mage right here, it will teleport you into this little instance in which you can kill the penguins, one shot them all, see you later. This is actually really cool because it's fully instanced, which pretty much means only you can come here, nobody can crash you, etc. So I really do like that. Next up, they have revamped the super donator zone. To get there, you do Colin Colin STZ. So I'm going to give you a little tour right now. we got a bunch of guardians of Amandil here. I'm pretty sure these are kind of useless to kill, but when you do kill them, you collect points and you can speak to this guy and buy a bunch of items. Nothing really worth too much here they could maybe update that but there's also a few mini bosses but the main thing that they did add is the Olaf there is actually 15 Olaf right here and of course nobody really goes here so if you do want to kill Olaf on your own definitely a really good place to try and grind out for that armor they also added four necromancer spawns here so when you teleport in you will see the portal you want to click on it and it should teleport you away and here you can see the four necromancers we got a few shadow kings there a few chaos elementals so yeah really nice they added a brand new boss the flame vertus I believe it's only accessible by the super donators so uh, kind of like another donator benefit. To get there, you go right here, Flame Virtus. I doubt the pieces are worth that much as the American ones are a lot better. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we've already got one. There is no way that's a high drop rate. Okay, it appears that they're actually worth a little bit of money. A lot more than Flame Tarver anyway. They've added a new boss for extreme donators, Flame Pingu. Flame Pingu is an upgraded version of every dreamer's favorite animal, the penguin. It's essentially a clue scroll boss that drops clue scrolls at a much higher level than other NPCs and can be used more easily to farm clues. So you want to come over to the extreme donator zone and speak to Velrak the Explorer. I think I'm going to do a separate video on the other Pingus, but let's check out the Flame Pingu. They actually look so cool as well. You are limited to killing 1,000 per day, which is still quite a lot of Pingus to be honest. I mean, there's only three in this spawn, and it takes like 15 seconds for them to respawn, so yeah, not too bad at all. They also added the Crystal Key Plus. I did make a video on this yesterday, so do check that out if you haven't already, but pretty much they are an upgraded version of Crystal Keys. If you get a 1,000 Crystal Keys in your inventory, you can now combine it to make the Crystal Key Plus, and you can get some really, really good loot from them. They've added some more donator benefits to the sponsor rank. Color column boost. Your damage is now being boosted by 1.3 for the next 5 minutes. Okay, that's pretty OP. They also made the earner kibs a little bit better. Now, it looks the same, right? But it's now fully instanced. How cool is that? You are now the only person that can access this zone. And you can literally stay here all day just killing whatever NPC you want. You can also upgrade the sponsor zone. You have to pay 1 billion DS coins, but once you've done that, the whole area is multi-combat, so that means you can one-hit more than one NPC at a time. Because right now, it's not really efficient to be doing this. They added Icy Pingus. Same way to get there. Speak to Velra. Here, you're capped at 1,500 per day. These are the same as the Flame Pingus, but they can also drop Super M boxes. Okay, moving on to the Executive. I hope I said that right. Of course, there is also a Colin Colin Boost command. I've already used it, so I can't really show you. They added Red Bull to the game. When you drink this, it will restart your HP to 150. It will do a color more. And it also allows your HP to go over 99. So if you've got, like, Soul Split on, you pretty much won't ever die. I would really recommend recommend maybe using this in the arcade because then bosses can hit really high or maybe even somewhere like the ninja turtle raid of course they added lava pingus these are the same as the flame and icy ones but they can also drop code keys as well as super m boxes of course so really op and these are limited to 2000 per day now onto the highest donator rank the platinum partnership of course there is a colon colon boost effect they added monster energy drink now i'm actually not a platinum partner in game so i hope i can drink it but Oh, there we go. I was looking so forward to doing this. I am actually a Shadow King in game. It does the exact same thing as Red Bull, but instead it gives you 200 HP. Yo, this guy's loving it, bro. He does glitch through the roof. That's so cool. They also added Space Pingus. As I said, I can't actually go there, but it's limited to 2,500 per day. They are kind of the same as the Lava Pingus, but instead of Super M boxes, they actually drop event boxes instead. They've added an arcade timer. So now when you die or complete it, I guess it will tell you how long you've been in there for. I'm not too sure, but that is a really nice update. And they added a new leaderboard for 
arcade time, so. Raptor did it in four minutes and 33 seconds. Jesus Christ. Another thing that I think is really cool is Goodie Bag Island. My boy LT Times right here is saying I can go to the island four times, so let's test our luck. Come on, first one, and we get... Oh my god, an AK-47 acid bath. Not bad. Second try. Please give me something good. Uh, oh shit, no way. Empress necklace. Wait, what? All right, fucking hell. I think that might be like the best time I could have got. Everybody is saying grats as well. Holy shit. Okay, what else are we going to get? A sponsor ticket. Does that give you sponsor? I'm not too sure what that does, but one more. Oh, a seasonal goodie box. And we get 20 quad out of it. Not bad. So when there's like a donation deal going on, instead of like a goodie bag from the inventory, they'll just teleport to that island, which I think is more fun and it's a lot more convenient. So they added comic commanders. I'm not really too sure how this works. The person with the highest and the lowest karma will now become the commander of good and evil. When you are the commander, you can activate a 10% draw rate boost, which lasts for 30 minutes. So not bad. They added a pocket slot. This slot will allow you to equip a whole host of new items. These items do not show up on your character but apply boosts and bonuses and then there is a huge list of karma rewards right here which i'm not gonna go over but um yeah it goes on for a while they added some static drop rates so for each donator rank that you are the higher drop rate you get just for being that donator rank and finally the donator interface they've added this little green icon right here and if we click on it it will open this interface which is really clean actually it goes really really into detail and you can actually like toggle which ones that you are let's do apply filters it updates with you as you can see platinum partners can do anything in game but yeah guys that is where i'm gonna end off the video i really do hope you did enjoy it dreamscape always comes out with like the biggest updates it genuinely blows me away every time of course make sure you do join if you haven't already there's currently 208 players online it's currently 3 p.m in the afternoon so nowhere near peak time and it's by far the biggest custom server right now but yeah boys i'm gonna end the video right there if you did enjoy please do leave a like rating subscribe to the channel if you are new we're trying to hit 7,000 by the end of the year and yeah i'll see you tomorrow for yet another video peace out pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm but them other man they feeding, I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with the phone and dab. Boss up a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip love buster. Win, 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 that's the only ammo. Ring, 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 I reply with Eno. Call me Leno, had it hot, hot.